Could it be that the dark is growing darker for Dark and Darker and the dev team at Iron May Studios? What's going on, guys? My name is Tychus. So, yes, there is an article published by Korean gaming outlet This Is Game with a cover story claiming how Dark and Darker's origin began as a Nexon project and how it became an independent game from the guys at Iron May Studios. By the way, shout outs to OnePeg for bringing this article to light in a recent video he made on his channel. Link to his video in the description below if you are interested in listening to his thoughts. Anyways, first and foremost, there is absolutely no proof, no stated sources, and no interviews cited anywhere within the article that prove that these claims are true. So take all of this with a grain of salt. Also, the link to the article and the Reddit post will be in the description down below. So the article claims that Dark and Darker started as a project dubbed P3 at Nexon, which was announced in May of 2021. There are screenshots in the article referencing Project P3, and you can see that it quite resembles that of Dark and Darker. The article goes on to state that in March of 2022, Nexon decided to halt production and pivot Project P3 into a new project dubbed P7. Now, P7 is a game that is stated to resemble that of Escape from Tarkov. Prior to that, in September of 2021, Nexon was looking to hire a planner who specialized in firearms for P7. Now, their main focus was to collect data on actual firearms, the appearances, the characteristics, shooting postures, and much more. During that time, the core theme of P3 started to change from a dark medieval fantasy game to a survival-esque firearms game. The article then goes on to state that Iron Maze Studios was established on October 20th of 2021, which was during the same time that Project P3 began morphing into P7. Now, this is the part of the article that you really need to take with a grain of salt. Again, there are no sources leading to any of these claims. So the article states, the core development team of P3 were suspected of leaking Nexon assets to the outside world, stating in the past that they were caught trying to steal data such as coding, resources, and other development documents. The article goes on to state that these individuals were eventually disciplined by Nexon. However, after receiving punishment, some of the devs decided to leave Nexon and join Terry, the CEO of Iron May Studios, to create Dark and Darker, leaning on the core assets of P3. The rest of the dev team, however, decided to remain at Nexon and are currently working on the project P7. Now, during many live stream interviews with Terry, he has stated that the team at Iron May Studios are a band of industry veterans who were disillusioned by the greedy practices of these giant gaming companies. It is even stated on their official website that they have seen firsthand how corporate game companies sell their souls for an easy payday. So once again, to recap, the TLDR is passionate devs of P3 at Nexon were tired of greedy practices from video game giants decided to leave, started their own dev company, and continued to work on their passion project without selling their souls for a quick payday. However, under the suspicion of stolen assets from Nexon. So there you have it. At this current time, there is no response from the guys at Iron May Studios or anyone official at Nexon as well. Dark and Darker just got done with its fourth playtest and the devs deserved a much needed rest after such a successful event like that. So anyways, what are your thoughts on the matter at hand? Honestly, in my opinion, I personally love the guys at Iron May Studios. It would be a shame to see an amazing game like Dark and Darker get snuffed out by a big giant gaming company such as Nexon, if that is even a possibility. Again, these are just suspicions and claims without proof. I'm not a lawyer and I wouldn't even know the legal ramifications that could happen. I just hope that whatever happens, if anything does happen, it doesn't affect or hinder the development of Dark and Darker in any way, shape, or form. I truly believe that Terry and the guys at Iron Maze are true champions in a gaming industry that is seemingly filled with greedy practices. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We'll have to wait and see how this rumor develops in the near future. 
But as always, thank you for giving me your eyeballs and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.